Okay, so I just started the recording. Um, Yuri, if you're ready, let me know, and then I will do the intro, and then we can get started on this. Yes, let's get going. Okay, awesome. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> this is my good friend Yuri, and I finally convinced him to record a podcast with me. Us after the first episode. <laughs> But once we started recording, this happened. <laughs> <laughs> how many channels do you have so far? Like, how many channels are you running as a... Yeah. <laughs> do you want to do a quick shout out? Or do you want to say hi to your mom? No. Luckily, with the new video editor of Riverside, you can now cut out your bloopers. You can edit your entire podcast with AI. And you can even create clips in a heartbeat. In this video, I will show you step-by-step step how you can edit your podcast through Riverside. So even if you are a complete beginner, you will know exactly how you can do this. Now, if you want to try out Riverside for yourself, then I got a discount code for you. If you use the code DANKEEFT, then you get a 50% discount on top of your purchase. So with that out of the way, let's just get started. So here I have my podcast. It actually took us two tries to get it right because yeah, we were pretty much on the beginning side of starting our podcast. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click the edit button and then I'm gonna create a new edit. So let me just walk you through the platform of Riverside because there are a bunch of features in here. On the right hand side, we have a bunch of different features. One of them is brand. Here you can add a logo and you can add a background. Let me just show you what that looks like. So if I add a background, then we have this background around it. You have all of these cool effects that you can choose from. Personally, I don't really like the background, so I'm just gonna remove them and keep it black. Now we move over to tracks, and what you can see is that the tracks are color-coded. So like you can see right here, Yuri is purple and I'm green. So this way you can keep track of who's saying what, and it's also easily to find it in the timeline. Besides that, you can also choose to enhance your audio with AI. So if you click on this, then it will take a few minutes and then it will start enhancing your audio. Let's say, for example, your partner isn't using a good mic, then you can try out this feature. Keep in mind, it is still in beta. Sometimes it works really good, sometimes it doesn't work that great. So try it for yourself, but preferably make sure your audio is good before you start recording. Now, besides that, we have the layout. And here we have a few different options. You can choose whatever you like. You can go full screen. This means that the speaker that's talking will be in full screen. Then when someone else is talking, they will be put on full screen. You can also do picture in picture. And what this means is that you will be in a small picture on the side. If I'm talking, I will be in the small picture on the side. Now, if you want to do something else, then you can also do the split screen. And here you just have Yuri on the side right there. Personally, I just like the grid. I like to have both speakers on screen at all times because I also want the viewer to see both people that are talking to each other on the screen. Now, after that, we have the captions. And honestly, these captions are pretty amazing because they are generated from the transcript that we have right here. And the transcript is pretty good. They have barely made any mistakes in there. And if they have, what you can do is you can just click it and you can just double tap it. You can correct it and then you can type in your correction. But honestly, I haven't spotted any mistakes so far. So what I'm gonna do is gonna add in my captions. And I like this one the most, but what you can do is you can even tweak it further. So you can add like a highlighting color you can change the fonts, you can do everything right there. Now, lastly, we have the text. So let's say you want to add in a title, then you can just type, for example, um, this title will be YouTube automation. And you can put that like on top of the screen if you want to. Personally, I like to keep it clean, so I'm just not gonna do it. So I'm gonna remove it right here. Now let's start editing our podcast. And we can do that using one of two ways. The first one being is we can select the text, for example, that we want to remove. Then we can click on delete. And now that section will be deleted from your podcast. This is basically like a text-based editing. If you don't like that option, then I also have another option for you. First, let me spot the part that I want to cut out of here. So actually in the beginning, we made a lot of mistakes. I started my recording and we were still talking. I was giving some instructions. Then we had a laugh. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> 
So yeah, I just want to remove that part because that isn't part of a video. So here I started the recording. I asked him if he was ready. And then let me just check. Here I actually start with the actual intro of my podcast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this split function. And once I click on there, then this part will be cut off into a one piece. Now I can press delete and now boom, that part is deleted and we start right off with our intro. Okay, so Yuri, I'm doing a video about faceless YouTube automation. And so yeah, that is essentially how you can start editing your podcast. Now let's say you want to add in a custom intro for your podcast. What you can do is we have this plus icon right here. We can add in a new recording. We can add in a new file and we can even add in like videos or our own media. Now let's say you have your own intro, then you can add that into your own media and then you can put it in front of your podcast to start it off with your intro. Another thing what is very common nowadays is to show the best parts of your video in the beginning of your podcast. So for example, I have a part right here where I have this sentence of Yuri that I want to use in the intro. Now what I can do is I can copy this. So now I can paste it into the intro of my video. So I'm gonna right click there and I'm gonna click paste. Then this part appears right here and I'm just gonna drag it over to the intro. And this way my video starts off, if we take a look, with that intro of Yuri, where he adds some value that I want to have in the front of my video that essentially captures some curiosity of the viewer of what this video is about. There's actually another cool feature that I want to show you, which is editing your video with the help of AI. And what we do is as follows. We can set a pace, and that is very interesting. So we can keep it original, that doesn't remove any pauses. Then we can make it a bit faster. Then it remove pauses of like three seconds or more. So as you can see right now, it just removes like one of them. If we do like 1.5, then we remove five pauses. If we remove one second, then we have 18 pauses. So let's actually do this right now. So what you can see right here in this timeline, you see these small cuts being made and it looks as followed. So you probably have to add someone else. Yeah, I see uh, you're, you're also focusing a lot on your on your personal brand right now. What, what are your plans with that? Mm. So essentially it removes the pauses and it makes it a bit faster because sometimes there is like a small silence of like one second or two seconds and this removes everything from that. So now my video is done and what I can do now is I can click on export. Here I can double check the quality. So I want to do it in 1080p. Then you can normalize the audio levels. You can remove the background noise if that's available and you can also remove the watermark. So I'm just going to hit export and now our video will be exporting over here. Another cool feature of Riverside is the note taking and I've actually generated it already right here. So here you can see a summary of what our podcast is about. Then we can see the key takeaways. And what's also very cool and very useful is that it has divided it into chapters. So we have like an introduction and a background. We have explained what YouTube automation is, YouTube shorts, AI, monetizing shorts, affiliate marketing. These are all the topics that I talked about with Yuri. And essentially Riverside becomes your all-in-one tool. You no longer have to put this into YouTube or into any other tool that does this for you you can literally copy this and put it into your podcast uploading platform. Next up, the magic clips. And this is what I want to show you really quickly. So we can just generate it. And now it generates the best moments for us. It can generate a few clips per episode. It all depends, of course, how long your episode is. So let's actually take a look what it has made for us. We have five clips that it has made for us. Let's watch the first one. I summarize the video with ChatGPT. I ask a few questions. It gives me like a, a checklist or like a few bullet points, mm -hmm. a few points to cover. And then within like 20 minutes, I had prepared the video. 20 minutes later, I fully recorded it and it was done. So there are so many ways that you can use it. But that was just one of them and it allows you to quickly get it done. So yeah, that is pretty good. You even have my reaction to it. I can cut it out right there. And I can even change like the layout if I wanted to. For example, this would be the perfect clip to have Yuri on full screen. 
I can also change the caption style if I'd like and we can move them around. So let's position them a little bit lower. Then we can edit the caption to a different color. Let's make it a bit brighter yellow. And I can also give it a bit of a background. And also we can change the sizing of it. So now we have our clips edited. The video, 20 minutes later. And yeah, you can completely customize this in your own style. Now, if you don't want to have the captions on there, then you can also toggle this feature off and you can do it yourself in another platform that you choose. So we've now created our clips through Riverside and we've even edited our entire podcast through it. We can now upload it to our favorite podcast platform. And if you want to try this out yourself, then use the code DANKEEFT to get a 15% discount on top of your purchase. If you want to watch other videos where I use AI to edit my videos, then check the video that's on the screen right now.